Hello everybody, my name is Sanad and welcome to another episode of The Clever Millionaire. In today's video, I will show you how you can add an authorized user to your credit card in under five minutes. So make sure you watch the video until the very end. Also, if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. Like video, follow video, and let's start. A lot of people that have good credit, they add their kids to their credit cards in order to help them have good credit and a better credit history. So if you want to help your kid out, you can add them as an authorized user on your credit card. And this is how it's done. So for this example, we are going to be using Chase Bank and I will be adding an authorized user to my Chase credit card. So when you first log into your credit card account with Chase, it will look something similar to this. Chances are, if you're watching this video years down the road, it will probably look completely different. So you are going to choose the credit card that you want to add your kid to. For example, we're going to be choosing the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Once you click on the card, you're going to see this screen. You're going to see the option for more. We're going to press this option and then you are going to scroll down to account services. You're going to press that option as well. And then when you scroll down even more, you will see an option that says add an authorized user. You're going to press this option. This will bring you to a page where you will fill out the information of the person that you are adding to your credit card. Also, it says a couple things. You are responsible to repay all balances on this account. So if you add an authorized user to your account and you give them the credit card and they max it out, you'll be the one responsible to pay all of that off. So keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind, your authorized user will get the entire credit history of this credit card. So if you have late payments, if you went into collections, all of that stuff will show up on their credit as well. So if you are looking to help someone out, make sure your credit is absolutely amazing because if you have any negative things, it will transfer to the person as well. Also, all the paper statements will be mailed to your address. Also, one other thing that I would like to mention, if your credit card has an annual fee and you add an authorized user, now your annual fee will be double, one for you, one for the user you added. So keep that in mind. This might be different with other credit card companies, but that is something that you should consider before you add an authorized user. And now when we look at the form, it will ask us some basic questions like the person's first name, their middle name, their last name, their date of birth, and their address. Once you fill all of this information out, all you have to do is press add authorized user. And when you press add authorized user, you will be finished. That is how easy it is to add an authorized user to your credit card. And of course, a couple weeks later, you're going to get another credit card in the mail with that person's information. If you are doing it for your child, a credit card will come in their name. Make sure you hide it so they don't max it out. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And as always, see you in the next video. Peace out.